hypothesis testing of the population mean using a Poisson distribution. In a particular river, a bacterium occurs at an average rate of 1.6 per milliliter. So this is our lambda value, and it's 1.6 for 1 milliliter. A random sample of 10 milliliters is taken from a nearby stream. 10 milliliters, 1 milliliter. So we, we need to make an adjustment for the value of lambda. The stream sample contained 23 bacterium, so 23 is our test statistic. We're going to use the 10% level of significance to do a hypothesis test and investigate whether the number of bacterium in the stream is the same as the river. This is a two-tail test. The number in the stream could be less than or more than the river. So we're looking for some kind of change. So to modify lambda, when lambda is 1.6, we have 1 milliliter. So for 10 milliliters, if you multiply by 10 on this side, you multiply by 10 on this side, then lambda is 16. This is the value that we're going to use for our H0 and H1. Now starting with the critical values method, which is good for calculating type 1 and type 2 errors, if needed. H0 lambda is 16 h1 lambda is not equal to 16. So this is the Poisson distribution that we're working with. Because we have a two-tailed test, we need to split the significance level into 5% and 5%. Starting with the lower tail, these are some of the probabilities from uh, the Poisson table. We're looking for probabilities which are less than or equal to 0.05 or 5%. So this one's less than 5%, so is this, but not this or this. So our critical region will include values from 0 up to and including 9. And 9 is our critical value. For the upper tail, we need to do 1 minus 0 0.05, so 0 0.95, and we're looking for probabilities here which are greater than 0 0.95. So looking down the tables, the first probability that's more than 0 0.95 is this, which means that the next one along, 24, will be the critical value for the upper tail. So 0 to 9 is in the rejection region, 10 to 23 is in the acceptance region, and 24 or more is in the rejection region. Yeah, the Poisson distribution has no upper limit, hence 24 onwards here. There's no final value on this side. And some evidence of why we've chosen 9 as the critical value here. So the probability x is less than or equal to 9, so this region, this critical region, is just below 5%. And similarly for the upper tail, while we've chosen 24 as the critical value, so the probability of this region is also just below 5%. The test value is 23, which clearly falls in the acceptance region. So we accept H0 and conclude that there is insufficient evidence that the mean number of bacterium in the stream differs from the river. Because we have accepted H0, we could have made a type 2 error. And to calculate the probability of a type 2 error, we work out the probability that x is between 10 and 23 inclusive using some new value of lambda. And this value of lambda is given. 
Now the probabilities method starts off the same. We modify the value of lambda, h0, h1. Here's our Poisson table that we're going to use. We split the significance level because we're doing a two-tailed test. 23 was our test value. Because we're doing a two-tailed test, we work out two probabilities. The probability that x is less than or equal to 23, and separately we work out the probability that x is more than or equal to 23. And then we compare those probabilities with 5%. So the probability that x is less than or equal to 23 is 0 0.9633, using the tables. And this probability is more than 5%. So the result is not significant. So this is telling us to accept h naught. And the probability that x is more than or equal to 23 is also more than 5%. Again, this result is not significant, so we accept H0. Same conclusion as before. Because we don't have any critical values or the rejection or acceptance regions calculated, uh, we cannot work out the probability of uh, errors.